GoFundMe. I announced that I was going to uh, announce the GoFundMe plans for these Vic prints. I have to put that on pause. I have to put that on pause because I have to get some input from GoFundMe because they're being cuck bags on the campaign and I'm not going to risk the campaign over them misconstruing what's going on. So I have to get confirmation. I have tried to get confirmation, but their promotions team sucks at getting back to me. So I'm going to reach out to my personal liaison with GoFundMe and I'm going to find out a definitive answer, not a weasel answer that they gave me before. And I will announce it as soon as possible. So I apologize for that. It is midnight, y'all. It is midnight. Reset that fucking clock. Here it comes. Here it comes. I've got something for you. I've got something for you. Talonseer says Ron Toye is a weird, genderless species of vermin. Obviously, were he in prison, he'd be thrown about like a dog toy. How appropriate. How appropriate. Here we go. What is this? What is this? In the matter of the marriage of Redacted and Ronald J. Toye III. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Would this be? Would this be? The affidavit of the ex-wife of Ronald Toye in their divorce in which she is begging the court to impose a restraining order against the abusive monster that is Ron Toye. Every fucking time with these male feminist beta weasels every single time every time every fucking time run out champion of women champion of women what do they do the moment they have power over a woman they beat them they scare them they threaten them every single time Every time, Toye is no different. If you're watching, Kick Vic, and I know you fucking pussies are, you're watching, pay attention. This is the piece of shit, scumbag degenerate that you're jerking off every single day. Every single day, listen to what he did. And, oh, wouldn't it be embarrassing if a court held that these facts were true after a hearing? Oh my God, wouldn't that be embarrassing? Guess what? You won't find out if they did or not today, but you probably will tomorrow, won't you? Won't you? So a shout out, a personal shout out to someone who on their own initiative, without my request, sent this to me. And before you idiots on kick big say, oh, he got these from Ty. No, I did not. I did not get these from Ty, but guess what I did the first thing after I read them? I sent them to him immediately, immediately, and have fun filleting this sack of woman-beating shit, and I can say it all day, all day. Sue me, Ron. Sue me. I fucking mean it. You want to deny it's true, Ron? And all you women championing idiots out on the kick Vic side have no regard for actual women. Not a single shred of it. Not a single shred of it. You're out there pontificating. And here you are. Here you are gargling, gargling the soy milk coming out of Ron Toye's mammaries. Well, let's see what he said. What, what, what happened, right? Let's see what happened. I've redacted the names of Ron Toye's ex-wife. I've redacted the name of Ron Toye's son. I've redacted any other names that are specific in this. Just left Ron. Just left Ron. Blank appeared in person before me today and stated under oath, My name is Redacted. I am above the age of 18 years and I am fully competent to make this affidavit. The facts stated in this affidavit are within my personal knowledge and are true and correct. I'm the petitioner in this case, a.k.a. Ron's ex-wife, his second ex-wife. 
because he had a first ex-wife. You're going to learn about how he treated his first ex-wife just a little bit in this affidavit as well. So it's not an isolated incident, is it, Ron? Is it? Why do you use all those emojis, Ron? And for every sack of garbage out there that says that I am somehow a danger to my wife and children, you will never, ever see even a complaint of domestic abuse from me. Not once. But one of the guys you're supporting, court found it true. Think on that. You don't support me. You think, you think that I'm some monster because I say mean words to your little idols? These are your idols. These are the people you're holding on such a high pedestal. Think about it. Think about why he uses all these emojis. In the beginning of our relationship, Ron was a perfect gentleman. Hey, Monica, is this true for you too? By the way, think about Monica in this. We might be wrong on Monica. There's been some speculation out there that Monica is actually acting out of fear. Monica, if that's true, if that's true, ditch him. Ditch him immediately. Get yourself out of this. If you were pressured into this by Ron, if Ron put the fear of violence into you, if Ron shamed you, if Ron hurt you, I will apologize for everything I've ever said about you publicly and immediately. I will apologize for everything. And I bet you get out of this lawsuit in a heartbeat if you just admit that that's what happened. I don't know if that's what happened, but Monica, if you're out there and this sack of garbage is beating you or scaring you or threatening your friends, your family, your animals, whatever it is, you don't have to put up with that. You don't have to be dragged into a lawsuit. Especially if you know who Vic is. And I think you do. I think you know. Ron was a perfect gentleman. He had my family, friends, and me fooled. Slowly he began to show his anger, control, and manipulation problems. This year his problems have come to a climax. I become scared of his personality and the things of which he is capable of doing. On March 31st, 2012, Ron, Ron's son, and I were sitting on the couch in the living room. I was working on homework and Ron was tickling slash wrestling with his son and kept causing his son to kick me in the back. I asked nicely if they would stop doing that and that he was hurting me, but Ron continued doing what he was doing. When I got kicked again, I asked again if he would stop making his son kick me in the back. When this happened a third time, I had the remote in my hand, reached across to tap him with it to get his attention to stop. He says I purposely hit him in the funny bone. Really, Ron? After this, he lost his temper in, on me in front of his son. He took the remote away from me and stood up above petitioners, uh, wait, stood up above uh, me sitting on the couch. He then said, and pardon my English, but it's Ron's. You tell me how this fucking feels. Then from above me, reared back and hit me with the remote. Even though the instances of physical abuse are small, his emotional abuse has been extremely con continuous. He has cussed me out, called me names, charged at me, and threatened me and my family. And has even done some of these things in front of his son. He has threatened me with my life, our money, our home, and my dogs. Pretty much anything he knows that I love or rely on, he has threatened me with. One of the voicemails I have saved shows exactly this bullying and threatening nature. I have it saved in my email under uh, July 2nd, 2012. Quote Ron Toye. If I were you, I would call me back pretty fucking quick because I told you about hanging up on me, okay? It's not like you do a lot, or you do have to do a lot, seeing as you are afforded the opportunity to stay fucking home. So if I need you to come get me, guess what that means? You fucking come and get me. Otherwise, I will take your car and you can fucking hitchhike and figure out how to get around. Because I pay all the fucking bills. I don't like being hung up on. You don't like fights? Don't do stuff to provoke me. You know you fucking provoke me when you hang up on me, okay? I didn't ask you for any to do anything for your mom. Your mom has another daughter who lives with her named... 
redacted, who can pick her ass up. I don't give a shit about your sister. I need to get something taken care of. Don't fucking hang up on me again or you can fucking walk around. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'll tell you something, guys. You don't put a quote like that in an affidavit you don't put a quote like that in an affidavit for a protective order unless you're damn sure ready to play that clip in court. You better be ready to play that clip in court. How disgusting. On October 15th, before he was served from his ex-wife, and the same day I decided to have lunch with my dad about my decision to divorce Ron, his angry attentions were on me. He was upset about something, and when I refused to answer the phone at school, he left me a voicemail in which he stated, Redacted, unless you truly want a divorce, you need to answer the phone. I'm being more than lenient. I'm just trying to talk this thing out, considering what you fucking did. And if you think, poor you, poor you, how about I chop your fucking dogs up and see how you like it? Let that sink in, kick Vic. Have fun. Have fun supporting this monstrous lunatic. He's going to chop her dogs up? It gets worse. It gets worse. Later that day, he was served a protection order from his ex-wife and a suit to modify parent-child relationship. He was livid. When I got home, I saw that he had kicked a hole completely through one of our walls. Picture attached. He had mentioned something on the phone about killing her. So I decided to start recording after I got home. He shows what his intentions are when people get in his way. At 7 minutes, 10 seconds, Ron. If somehow, because I understand that if, but if, but see, if somehow, the judge better hope not, he doesn't have kids either, because I will fucking... It's seriously, if something comes through with my son, is my anchor to sanity. If something happens there, it's going to be very bad for a lot of people like the judge, redacted, redacted, and his family. Everyone. Everyone. It's going to kill a judge? It's going to kill a family of the judge, his judge's kids? It's going to, going to kill... Kill the family of, I think the second redacted name here is his first ex-wife's new husband, I think, or boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know. I've just got a first name, but that's in context. That's what kind of makes sense because it's his first wife and then, and then another, a male name. And I don't know who that is, but apparently Ron's going to kill his family. I am extremely concerned with the timing of my decision to divorce Ron. He has already made it clear to me that he has an extremely angry and violent nature. And now with his son's custody involved, I am frightened my decision will affect him even worse. I have to get out of this marriage. I'm overwhelmed from constantly being harassed and threatened. I am terrified that he will see my decision and do th uh, things to harm my family, me, my dogs, and our residents. I would like a protection order keeping him from me, my place of residence, any place of employment I may have, and my school premises of Texas Christian University. I would also like it added that he cannot come uh, contact or come in proximity with any of my family members for fear of his outlash. In addition, due to his manipulative nature and threats prior of ruining my life, I would like him restrained from making any disparaging remarks about me in public or to people not involved in the case. I'm scared that he's going to attack me in one way or another, whether it is with violence, manipulation, or a hired hand. The residence located at Redacted, where we have been living, belongs to my family, and Ron has no ownership interest in the property. I live there under a lease that Ron is not a party to. Uh, Awig, it's not the ex-wife's lawyer, I don't believe. Now, I have in my possession a lot of documents about this divorce. I think we may be going through them soon to learn what kind of guy Ron is. But I've got, it, I've got a lot of redaction to do. Obviously, I don't want any impact on any of these other people. 
let me read the chats and then I've got some closing thoughts uh, on this. And I told you guys, this is, uh, this is, uh, I told you, I don't hype things. This is legitimate, legitimate nuts, nuts, an insane, degenerate, woman beating person threatening, manipulative, conniving pile of garbage. Okay. All right, let me read a couple of these chats. Uh, Tucker says, oh boy, here we go. Morty J says, midnight hits from whom the bell tolls. Say it with me, Rackets. Good morning, Vietnam! Uh, Kilo Bravo 777 says, Well, 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 seems like we got a beta wolf and a sheepdog skin. Tucker says, This piece of soy-filled shit reproduced. Oh my god, this is so bad. Zero the Slayer says, uh, Dude, this is bringing a whole new light to him wearing what he did to the other depositions. I know, I joked about the wife beater, right? I joked about him wearing it. Like, I, I, I don't even want to make jokes because I have really funny jokes to make about this, right? I have not this about Ron and Monica and that whole thing. And now I'm like just too appalled and disgusted, appalled and disgusted at this. Matthew Lemons, why did this have to wait until midnight? Because it's when the maximum amount of people would have filtered in. That's why. I want as many people to see this as possible. As possible. I want people to know. I want people to know, right? Ron's been... Ron hasn't mentioned this publicly. As far as I know, Ron's never said, I had my troubles with women in the past. I got therapy. I apologize for it. None of it. None of it. Why not? Why not? This guy's talking about hugs in public. He's talking about a kiss with his former. What? Riddle me this. Maybe, maybe Monica's story is actually, maybe the truth of Monica's story is actually something like this. I went to Vic's hotel room. We'd had a couple drinks. We thought, maybe we'll make out a little bit. You know, see where this goes. They start kissing. Things are awkward. They've been friends for a while. They're co-workers. They say, it's not there. And then they agree to let it go. Then they go to dinner with Stan Dolan. Then they go back to Vic's room because literally nothing happened. What sounds more plausible to you? Monica's version of the story that she's sworn to in her affidavit that says that Vic forced himself upon her, pinned her down, kissed her. She was frozen and paralyzed. Then Stan Dolan valiantly res rescues her and they go to dinner and then she goes back to his room to sit on his balcony to call his ex-wife or to uh, call his fiance that he apparently just cheated on. Which one of those sounds and then she waits a decade to tell about the horror of that night. Or maybe just maybe there was a consensual interaction didn't go anywhere when Ron Toye found out about it, he flipped the fuck out. And Monica was scared because either she knows about this or maybe worse, maybe she doesn't. And Monica, if you're hearing it from me, I am so sorry that you have to hear this from someone you hate. I'm so sorry for that. If you had to hear it from me. But either Monica knows how terrifying and dangerous this little manlet is. He's 5'9", by the way. 
or maybe she saw it on his face. And in the moment she said, Vic, kiss me, his eyes flashed with anger and she got scared of what he would do to her. So she shifted the blame onto Vic. Maybe that's the story. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. But if it is Monica, get out. Get out. Get out of this lawsuit. If that's what happened, if this is all because you're terrified of that thing, people will help you. Real people will help you. I will help you. Get out. No one deserves that. No one deserves to be abused and beaten by some little, little angry uh, Napoleon complex pile of trash. Nobody deserves that.